buddy taking you for a walk? Well, the only way you can get them to climb is you got to train them, so... I have to weed whack later or something, because these are getting really bad already. What are those yellow leaves? Papaya? From the papaya tree. Papaya leaves? Yeah. When they turn, I pull them off. See the miracles in every moment. Check out this rad ladybug on the pets dish at the watering station i was getting it filled up for buddy and here's this beautiful ladybug come here buddy get some water <laughs> there's a little bit of a piece in the air Buddy and I are taking a walk. Look at that sailboat off in the distance. Fit jumping fish. It's always something you get to see when you're walking along. Actually, just take a moment and look. What do you think? Do you see everything? Or are you caught up in things and just letting them pass you by? These are all aspects of why I like to get out in nature. I hope that you yourself also take time to get out, to reconnect. <sighs> nature heals. Nature is a healer. Hmm. Appreciate what you have. Enjoy it often. So it's super windy and I'm going to have to speak loud so hopefully you can hear me really well. I can just say this, that I'm walking. See this is life. This is real life. We can't get upset at what's going on around us. The only reason we get upset at what's going on around us is because it's not the way we want it. We're resisting it. We want perfectionism. We want things the way we want them, not the way they just are. And so if you are upset or dissatisfied in saying somebody or something is doing something to you, what that's really a reflection of is you not just accepting the circumstances as being perfectly human and existing. And this is part of the healing journey, the healer's journey. I had to learn to not allow things around me to take me out of my personal peace, to stay in joy in me and not get attached to the discomfort. And that when things around me are happening and I can't control them, the only thing I can control is my response or my reaction. And so what that's taught me over time is the majority of my life has been absolutely blessed, absolutely beautiful. And the only times it hasn't felt that way is because I wanted them to be different than they were. When I accept things as they are, I can stay in my personal power and my personal joy and everything will will come into alignment because really the alignment has to start from within and when there's a discomfort within yes you're going to find discomfort without you're going to notice all the things around you that are going on that are wrong that you don't like versus the things that are going right so that's the correlation between the inside and the outside if I have a discomfort within, I will find it all outside of myself. But when I can find the joy, when I can find the comfort, and I can align with that, which is working and in my favor, 
mind because the sun will shine again. And when we get off course, when we lose our alignment to who we are within as a soul being from the heart in that space of just pure love, of purity of beingness, all I can tell you is forgiveness is key. Being appreciative, having gratitude, recognizing the gifts and the miracles of life. That's all part of the healer's journey. And we're all, we're all perfect as we are. You are not broken. All you have to do is accept every aspect of yourself as part of the whole and allow those pieces to come back together, to integrate them and just be one with all. Don't deny any aspects or any part of you. This is a miracle of life, baby. And you are a miracle as well. Tell us about your walk. It was windy. It was windy? Mm-hmm. What are you eating? Sprouts and leftover Brussels sprouts. Uh, yeah, Brussels sprouts. Ooh, in that fancy dip? Mm, it's what you didn't want to eat last night. Brussels sprouts, uh, hummus? Mm -hmm. Cool. And what are you watching? I'm watching a YouTube video. It's pretty interesting. Oh, cool. Okay, so... This is going to be the last video for tonight. Overall, did you have a decent day? Good day? Yeah, always. Good? Yeah. Very reflective. Yeah. So remember to tune in for tomorrow's episode of Feel It to Heal It. Should be number five. Yeah. What, what? Good job, honey. Bye, y'all.